my windows are open, so I think my neighbors can hear me speak to a camera. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I will be filming my August wrap up, in which I talk about the books that I've read this past month. Not this month, the last month. This month is September. I am late. Elanon Park by Rainbow Rowell. And I did a book review on this, so the link will be right here. Somewhere here. Just click on it if you want to see my book review on this book. I really liked it. Next is Attachments, also by Rainbow Rowell. Attachments is Rainbow Rowell's first book, her first novel. It goes through this, uh, the perspective of this guy who works in internet security. So he had to regulate the security and sometimes their emails just popped into his box and he read their emails and he ended up falling in love with one of them. And I really enjoyed this book. It's really great. I like this book. The Vandal by Anne Shelley. It's quite complicated actually. And you know what? I'm just gonna read you the summary because I can't really summarize the book without giving a lot of it away. So Paul started a fire. Tonight he will do as he always does. Take the drink and submit the day's events to the memory. Tomorrow, the memory will remind him what happened today. Paul trusts the memory, but should he? Heh! I, I have no idea what genre it is actually, but it was actually really interesting. I felt like the plot and the setting was really great. It's just that the story wasn't so great. She could have done more with the story, because if she expanded this plot and storyline, it would be amazing. It would be a really amazing book. The Folk Keeper by Franny Billingsley. Okay, this book is fancy, I think. It was unexpectedly good. I didn't expect it to be so good because when I was reading the summary, I thought it was just gonna be like a children's book with a bit of magic here and a little bit of magic there and hero saves the day and blah blah blah. Finish. I got more than I bargained for in this book. But I felt like it was a bit too short. It is really thin. If the author were to lengthen this book and expand more on certain parts, it would be a very 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 good read. I couldn't put it down when I started reading it. Next is Ashes. This girl's so pretty. She's so pretty. Now, Ashes follows the perspective of the main character, Alex, as she survived something that came out of nowhere and kind of killed half the population on Earth, but left the other half alive. And in this other half, half of them are now cannibals, who are actually really intelligent. It's very, very interesting. Although, the ending ends like you wouldn't expect an ending to end. Because I have no idea if there's even a continuation to this book. It ends like that and I'm really angry because the ending ended like that. I will give it a 3.8. If there is a second book and I find out, I will make a correction and probably give this book a 4.2. The Boy Who Could See Demons by Carolyn Jess Cook. This book is written through two perspectives. One is through the perspective of Alex who is a 10 year old boy and he can see demons. He can see your demons who are tempting you to do something. He can see... Ruin, who is his best friend. The second perspective is through Anya's perspective. Anya is a psychiatrist who is called in to help Alex because he has increasingly become more violent without knowing it. So she is there to help him and his mother, who is extremely depressed and suicidal. And the book makes you question, is it really demons or is it just childhood schizophrenia? Up until the end, you never know. Although some things clue you in, right on the next page, something clues you out and you're again left wondering. So I think this book is really up to your own interpretation. But in any case, I really enjoyed this book. Last but not least is More Than This by Patrick Ness. So I was always very, very, very interested in buying this book and reading this book and I finally did it. This book deserves to be made into a movie, into a TV show. It deserves all the awards because of how it twisted my mind I did not expect this at all. I did not expect the story. As I was reading it, every page I turn, I'll be like, what's going on? What happened? Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? Until I reached the end and I was like, ah. In all seriousness, this book is an amazing read. And look at the, the cover, it, it's beautiful. I really, really enjoyed it because it's a really, really good book. Ah. So that's it for my August wrap up. That, were, that was all the books I read. I felt really accomplished that I read this many books in this month as compared to last month which I where I read only three books. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Get my new owl book.